So real quick, I want to teach you how to teach your class lessons with your iPad while recording them with your laptop using Google Meet. All right, so I've got my computer set up in a Google Meet, and then I've used my teacher iPad to log into that same exact Google Meet, and over here, a student laptop in that same exact Google Meet. So as a teacher, if you want to teach your class and record it, I would log in on both your iPad and your computer. Now on the iPad, I'm going to tap here and I'm going to choose present screen and start. Okay. And in just a second, it's going to tell me that my screen's being presented to everybody in the meeting. Okay. It is. Now I'm going to go over to explain everything. And over here on the student iPad, my explain everything screen showing up. And let me give you another update. So on the laptop, there it is. So now as a teacher, if you write two plus two equals four on your iPad, the student will see it and hear you. And over here, it will show up on your laptop as well. Now, the question is why in the world am I doing this on two devices? Well, I wanna record the meeting as well. So on your laptop, you can go down here to the bubbles on the laptop, down here to the bubbles, click, and then choose where it says record meeting, and then accept. And so now with your laptop, you're recording the meeting, but you can teach with your iPad so that the student over here can see it, right? And so the student is seeing what you're writing with your explain everything, you're using your iPad to teach with Explain Everything, and you're using your laptop to record the meeting. So now that you recorded your class meeting, I'm going to show you how to retrieve the video so you can share it with students. So the first thing you want to do is click on the bubbles and then click Stop Recording. And then click Stop Recording again. And when you do that, it's going to save the video and email it to you. Now, usually the emailing takes you know, five to 10 minutes to show up, but you'll get an email from Google. It looks just like this one with the actual video in it. And you can download the video. You can share a link to the video. There's a ton of options, but it's as simple as they email it to you. So the second way you can find your recordings other than just waiting on that email to come is you can go to your Google Drive, make sure you're logged in and you can see the school district logo up here, but go to the, your Google Drive and search the word recordings and when you make those recordings Google automatically creates a folder for you called meet recordings so if I click it it's going to show all the recordings that I've ever done in that folder. Yeah. 